welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about all of the fashion trends that I have seen in Tokyo this summer. I actually have five fashion trends and one beauty trend that's kind of a bonus. So without further ado, let's just get started. Throughout this video, I will be inserting photos of the trends that I am talking about because I'm sure that my descriptions will not suffice when I'm talking about this stuff. So the first trend that I want to talk about is basically wide-legged pants. Um, I have not seen basically anybody wearing skinny jeans, skinny pants, anything like that here. It's actually gotten to the point where if I see somebody wearing skinny pants, I'm like, what are they doing? The main pants that I have seen people wearing have been um, culottes or gauchos. I know that they're, it's the same thing, but it's two different terms to describe the same trend. They just look so, so cool. I remember when I first got here, I thought that they were so weird. Like it was too trendy for me and I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon, but now that I've been here for six weeks, I think that they're really cool. Also, instead of skinny jeans, everyone basically wears boyfriend jeans. Like, people wear straight leg jeans or just kind of baggy, loose-fitting pants, and I am all about that life because boyfriend jeans are essentially just socially acceptable pajamas. The next thing that I want to talk about is shoes, and there have been two different styles of shoes that I have seen as being super trendy here. Um, one is basically any kind of platform or flat form sandals or shoes, and the second one is Birkenstocks. Now, I'm gonna talk about Birkenstocks first. I know that in America this summer and even last summer, Birkenstocks have been a huge trend. I know that not everyone likes them because they're kind of ugly chic. They are a huge trend here, and I think that they will continue to be probably into next summer. And the second shoe trend that I wanted to talk about is actually platform shoes, and they are huge here. I have no idea why it's just starting to trickle into America when here it's like the only thing that people wear. They are so cool and definitely when I got here I wasn't sure about the trend but clearly as you can see from my haul video which I will link down below I definitely jumped on that bandwagon. I've bought two pairs of platform shoes since I got here and I'm gonna wear the crap out of them back in America. Whether or not it's a trend there I will wear them. Another huge trend here is actually wearing fake glasses and I'm not talking about those glasses that we've seen in the past that are just they have huge thick frames and they look like fake nerdy glasses that are possibly part of a Halloween costume. No, these are basically straight up Harry Potter glasses. They have very thin wire frames. I've seen a ton of people wearing them here and I'm actually kind of into them. Moving on to our next trend, there's something that I kind of have to explain about this. Now, people here really cover up in the summer. Like, people do not wear tank tops. It is 95 degrees outside and people are not wearing tank tops. They are not even wearing t-shirts. I think it has less to do with kind of being a conservative culture and more just being a fashion thing. But something I've seen in a lot of department stores here are very long, uh, lightweight cardigans. So I'm talking about cardigans that literally go all the way down to the ground. It's something that I really didn't expect to see and I thought it was kind of interesting to mention. And the last fashion trend that I want to talk about is in terms of patterns. One pattern that I've seen literally everywhere on anyone at any age is stripes. And yes, I'm wearing stripes right now to illustrate that point. Um, these actually aren't really the stripes that are in right now. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's like a specific stripe pattern that is super, super in. I will definitely insert pictures of what I'm talking about right now, but it's usually on a kind of very light cream or off-white background, and it's very thin, almost pinstripes that are separated with a lot more um, space between them than normal pinstripes. Uh, that pattern has been everywhere, especially on pants, which I thought was so interesting. And the second pattern that I wanted to talk about, which is basically everywhere here, is grid pattern. I'd say as of like a month or two ago in America, the only time I would ever see grid pattern on clothing was basically in the depths of Tumblr. Like I never saw it in real life. I never saw it in a store. And I think it's just such a cool modern pattern. Depending on how you style it, it can definitely look really edgy and really modern, or it can look pretty laid back and casual. I think it's really interesting that even now, there are kind of like new patterns that are coming into style. I thought that was so cool and I really look forward to seeing those patterns kind of make their way into the Western fashion market. And now for a little bonus, I wanted to talk about a beauty trend that I've seen here, which is called Byojaku, and it basically means sick face. Okay, this is really hard to explain, but the goal here is to basically look like you're slightly ill. I know that sounds crazy, 
But after seeing it in person and seeing some girls pull it off really well, I'm kind of convinced that it's the next big thing. Um, I seriously doubt that it'll ever make its way to America, but I thought that it was really cool to share. Essentially, what you do is you put blush right up underneath your eye. I can't actually explain to you why it does this, but it does make you look really cute and really innocent. I have not tried it on myself. I don't think that I would be able to pull it off, but I thought that it was a really fun thing to share and I thought that you guys would enjoy it. So those are all of the trends that I have seen so far this summer in Tokyo. I know from personal experience how hard it is to learn about trends in different countries. Before I came here, I did so much research, or at least I tried to, on how people actually dressed here and it was so hard to find information so i actually have a suggestion for you guys if you want to keep up with japanese fashion i seriously suggest that you go to some of the websites that i'm going to link into the down bar and they're basically just japanese fashion websites they're just clothing stores that i find really trendy here like they carry the most recent fashions and although you can't actually order clothing from that website, it's actually a really good idea to go onto there and just look at their new arrivals. Like every couple of months, if you want to keep up with Japanese fashion, it's just a good idea to head to those websites. So I will definitely link those down below and I hope that it helps you guys out. But that is all I have for you guys today. As usual, please subscribe, please like this video if you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, uh, requests, anything like that, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to interact with you guys. So as usual, I'm super awkward signing off, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye guys.